What's up guys, I'm Shurag and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to move or migrate the EC2 instance from one region to another region. Also, I will touch upon migration from one availability zone to another availability zone, right? So here I have quickly summarized few steps that we are going to follow throughout this tutorial. So that is the very first thing we will be doing is stopping the instance and then we will create the AMI. So that is Amazon machine image. And then probably we will copy the AMI image to another region in which we want to migrate that EC2 instance, for example, North Virginia to Asia Pacific Mumbai, right? So that is going to be US East 1 to AP South 1, right? And then finally, once the image is created and the copy to another region, we will use that image to launch a new instance within the target region. So these are the steps that we are going to follow throughout this tutorial. But before we move on, I just want to highlight that you might want to visit the community tab of the YouTube channel. So here I will be posting this kind of illustration every week. So if you are interested, then do check that out. But apart from that, I will be also posting this illustration on Instagram, Facebook page, Reddit community and on Twitter. So now moving along back to our tutorial. So the very first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to stop this instance. So I want to migrate this instance from North Virginia to Asia Pacific Mumbai, right? So I will select this instance and then click on action within instance state, say stop and click on yes, stop. So we can also create the AMI or the Amazon machine image while the instance is running, but we are stopping an instance to guarantee the file systems data integrity, right? So it's a good idea to stop an instance and then create the Amazon machine image. So now here we will wait for the instance to stop. So now, as you can see, the instance is stopped. So now again, select the instance, click on actions within image, say create image. Now here you need to give the image name. So I will say flask AMI, for example, you can add an image description. You can opt out for no reboot. You can add additional volume and whatnot, right? So configure this option as per your requirement and say create image. Now this creation of image is going to take some time. So we need to wait for that. So here we have the AMI image ID so we can monitor the status of the creation of the image. And here we have few details regarding the AMI ID and the Amazon machine image that we are creating, right? So right now the status is pending. We have to wait till the status changes to available so that uh, we can execute further steps. So let's wait for it. Now, while this Amazon machine image is being created. I just want to discuss upon if you want to migrate the instance from one availability zone to another availability zone within the same region, then here we don't need to follow the third step or we don't need to execute the third step that is copy AMI to another region, right? All we have to do is after this image is created, we have to click on actions and we have to say launch and in step two, we will get an option of subnet, right? So over there, we can select the different availability zone. So let's have a look. Now the status has been changed to available. So let's say you want to migrate from one availability zone to another. So what we will do is select the image, click on action, say launch. So now here choose an instance type. So make sure you choose the same instance type or maybe uh, higher than that, right? So I will go with T2 micro say next configure instance details. Now here within this tab, that is step three within subnet, you can click on this drop down and you will get an option for different availability zone, right? So for example, you want to move this instance to US East 1E. So you can select that and move on with the further step. So now if you want to, for example, migrate an instance from one VPC to another VPC within the same region, then you can click on this network drop down and select the VPC in which you want to migrate, right? So this is how you can uh, change or migrate between the availability zone and the VPC. But here in our case, we want to migrate the instance from one region to another region. So I will cancel this. 
Now here we are again. So now select the image, click on action, say copy AMI. Now what is the destination region to which you want to migrate? So select from here. So I will say Asia Pacific Mumbai. If you want to change the name, you can change it and finally say copy AMI. Now again, this is going to take a while to be copied to the destination uh, region, right? So we can visit the AMI page in AP South 1 that is basically Asia Pacific Mumbai to check the progress. So we will simply click on this link so that uh, we can monitor the status of the image creation. So right now it's pending. Again, we have to wait till the status changes from pending to available. Now the status is changed to available. So now all we have to do is select the AMI image and click on launch. So basically this will launch this instance within Asia Pacific Mumbai region. Select the instance type, say configure instance details. You can opt out for different availability zone uh, by selecting from here that is from subnet, right? So I will leave everything as it is and say next add storage. You can increase the size from here or you can also add a new volume, but I will leave it as it is. Say next add tags, add a name tag. I'll say migration, say configure security group. So now here within security group, you need to make sure that uh, all the ports are open, which was earlier opened in the existing instance, right? So maybe you want to create a new security group or select an existing security group. So I will go with the existing one and I will say review and launch. And I think rest of the steps are as it is. I'm in the default steps. So here I will be choosing an existing key pair. You might want to create a new pair if you don't have any uh, existing key pairs. So I will select this. I will say I acknowledge and say launch instance. Now here we have the instance ID so we can click on that and monitor its status from pending to maybe running. So as you can see now we have the instance up and running within Asia Pacific Mumbai region. So well this is how you can migrate the EC2 instance from one region to another region and we had also touched upon that how we can migrate the EC2 instance from one availability zone to another availability zone and also VPC within the same region right. So well. Uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.